Hey friends, it's Robin Robbins. One of the things we know for sure that's going on in our world is inflation is rising and technical talent is costing a lot more money. So if you're running an MSP, an IT services company, one thing I know for sure is you probably are loaded with projects. You got a lot of work, so you're very busy, but your software costs, your employee costs, the cost of everything in running a business is going up. So one of the conversations that we're having with a lot of our members right now is, should we be raising our prices? And if we're raising our prices by how much and how exactly do we go about that without alienating our customers, pushing our customers away or pricing ourselves out of the marketplace? So here's the situation as we're seeing it right now. So yes, prices are up across the board. More and more MSPs are busy. There's a ton of project works that is just keeping them busy. Uh, all their engineers are underwater right now. Um, but the problem is a lot of them, while their revenue is going up, their margins are falling. And that is because in a lot of cases, they have not raised their prices. And like I said, everything's costing more with inflation, but also the technical talent labor is up. Vendors are charging more. Hardware is going to uh, continue to rise. There's been price increases already. So if you're an MSP and you have not raised your prices in the last two years, I can tell you right now, you are losing margin. It's it's practically inevitable. I don't know anybody who still has 2019, 2020 pricing and has not seen a significant dip in the money that they're making. So as a little bit of a guideline, best in class MSPs and best in class being identified as those MSPs that are growing and very profitable. Their profit margins are in the 20% EBITDA range. And that's after paying the owner a fair market salary and they're growing at the rate of at least 10%, 20%, 30% year over year, all of them have raised their prices in 20 to 25% going back earlier this year, end of last year, um, and haven't suffered from it at all. In fact, um, haven't lost any customers. So across the board, the MSPs that are really succeeding have already raised their prices 20, 25%. So the question is, do you need to raise your prices? Well, I don't know. It would depend on your situation, but I can tell you this. If your gross margin on services is not north of 50%, if your EBITDA is 10% or less, I can tell you without any shadow of a doubt, you are underpriced. You need to raise your prices across the board. Now, that's not just for new customers coming in. You're probably gonna have to go back to existing customers and raise the rates on them. For projects, you wanna be north of $200 an hour on project work. For managed services, you wanna be somewhere in the per user seat pricing of about 150 to maybe up to 250 per seat price. Now, I wanna caveat this with one thing, and that is to say, you know, telling somebody a per seat price is useless because until you really know what goes into it, what the tools are, what your costs are, who the customer is, what you're delivering, um, you know, that's kind of worthless, but a better measure is your gross margin. And of course your, your net, net profit, your, your EBITDA. All right. So if your EBITDA is 10% or less, if your gross margin is 50% or less, you're going to have to do that price increase, but you got to be careful because when, whenever you create a service offering, it has to have three, three components. You got to get three things, right? Number one, it's got to be scalable because if you have a service offering that's custom to every single client and everyone's got different tools and everyone's on a different pricing plan and everybody's on a different everything, it gets very difficult to, to scale that. So it, number one has to be scalable. It has to be competitive as well. So right now, for example, if you are not going back to your customers and offering them advanced cyber protection, and in some cases, even compliance as a service, because some of your clients are, are under regulatory compliance requirements, um, your service offering is falling out of being competitive because right now the insurance companies are pushing a lot more cyber protections for regular Joe business owners like me. He's not a medical practice to get higher level cybersecurity protections in place. And if I don't, as a just a run of the mill generic, you know, business owner that's not falling under HIPAA or CMMC or something like that, I could have my crime or cyber liability insurance claim 
denied because I am failing to put in place certain cyber protections. So across the board, more and more business owners are going to their IT providers and they are asking for advanced cyber protections so that they can be compliant with their insurance policies, compliant with HIPAA, compliant with the SHIELD Act or any number of um, of regulatory bodies and obviously by state, the SHIELD Act in New York and the Consumer Protection Act in California, all of these are driving a demand for an advanced level cybersecurity solutions and compliance as a service um, coming from IT professionals like you. So it's got to be scalable, but you also have to be competitive. Now, in order to do that, the third thing you your service offering also has to be is profitable. So it's got to be scalable, competitive, and profitable because you can put together a great service offering, but if it's not profitable, you're not making any money, you know, that's a problem. You're not going to be able to sustain that for very long. So again, um, when you're creating your service offering right now, you've got to look at whether or not you're profitable and across the board, I would suggest listing your clients from least profitable to most profitable, taking a look at each one and redesigning their service offering, their plan and approaching them about upgrading them to better, more robust cyber protections, a newer revised plan for 2022, the year we're in, and going back and selling that to them. But there's a lot to this, right? So raising your prices isn't as simple as saying, oh, okay, well, I'll just go back to my clients and raise their prices by 20%. And I know you've got a lot of questions. So one of the things I would recommend highly to you, if you are looking to not only raise your prices, but also to attract more high value clients, clients that are willing to pay a higher fee to get a better service, not the cheapos, not the people who constantly fight, I don't need all that. Why do I need that they complain they gripe they don't want to spend the money not those people i'm talking about high value clients that appreciate what you do they're willing to pay for it they don't fight you over every bill they don't fight you over every recommendation they are fully integrated into your service stack and they take your advice and they behave as clients if you want to get more of those high value clients and raise your prices then you need to come to this year's annual roadshow event one of the things that we are going to give you the minute you register is a fantastic webinar that we just put together and delivered with templates and pricing tools and examples in it on how to go about specifically raising your prices, not only knowing by how much do you have to raise your prices, but giving you tools for pricing, giving you an outline of a service solution, a service stack of what you need to be including right now to be competitive, and then marketing templates of how to go back and talk to your customers about raising their prices, but having them happy about it because you're doing it in a way where they have a service solution that is better for them. So you get to kind of hide a price increase in a way. You're not just going back and saying, hey, you need to pay me 20% 20 20 more. You're being more elegant than that. And they actually are going to be happy about it. So right below this video, you're going to see a link to register for this year's IT Marketing Roadshow. Like I said, the minute that you register, I'm going to give you this incredible bonus session that we just rolled out for all of our members. And you're going to be able to get value from that and get an ROI on that before you even get to Roadshow. Then once you get to Roadshow, what we're going to be talking about there is how to attract more high value clients. So I'm going to give you a no fail marketing plan and map out for you exactly how to get more high value clients. That's going to be all on day one. On day two, we're going to be talking about how to be more strategic and competitive in your service offering, talking about advanced cyber protections. How do you package it? How do you price it? How do you sell it? We're going to be talking about the insurance uh, agencies, the companies out there, what, what they're doing, the changes that are going on that are driving the demand for this. And right now, guys, you want to be ahead of this opportunity. You don't want to be lagging behind. Let your competition take it. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about how do you offer compliance as a service to really protect and serve your customers, to do them um, of great value and, of course, make money while you're doing it. So you want to get to this year's roadshow to show not only how to raise your prices, but get higher value clients, put together a service solution that is that is phenomenal, that's second to none, that your competition e either isn't offering it or hasn't thought about offering or can offer right now because they're not at roadshow. They're not here with us. 
So right below the video, make sure you click on that, get to Roadshow. You're gonna get that piece, that valuable price increase webinar that we just did with a price calculator to show you exactly how to calculate your price, um, how to deal with all kinds of issues of going back and talking to your customers about it. It's just phenomenal. It's like a two hour workshop that we did full of templates and wisdom and things that you're gonna be able to benefit from. So go ahead, click on that link below, get yourself registered, watch that video, and then I will see you at the Row Show where we're gonna take your business, your profitability, your success to a whole new level. So go ahead and click on that now and I will see you at one of the upcoming shows.